sorry about that. Hopefully it works this time. Let me keep looking at the video right now. Hey, Grizzle. Hey, Simon. I'm having that same error I did at the beginning. Hey, Clark. Does the stream work this time? Ah, oh, thank God. I hope it stays like that. Now, there's a couple things I have to do because I don't have enough golden spatulas to get to the Flying Dutchman's graveyard yet. So let me go back to downtown Bikini, Bikini Bottom real quick. And there's a, there, there's a mission there that I can now do since I got the cruise bubble power up. And it's actually called Come Back with the Cruise Bubble. Hey, Jacob. <clears throat> uh, I heard that Cuphead was a very hard game, so I don't know often. Most likely not. Shoot the cruise bubble. Wait a minute. Where's that button at? Oh, I passed it. I have to press it from the other side. Yeah, I know that. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. I feel like a new sponge. Hey, Nikola. Oh. Talk about In the End by Linkin Park? If so, that song's great. Hey, Kira. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, my stream did cut off the first time I tried. Yeah, I... Rage games are just not something that I should play because... I'm too easy to anger. Yeah, that's a great song. Yeah, I know what you mean. But still, I shouldn't be playing a rage game. I mean, think about it. If I tried, if I tried to play Dark Souls, my blood pressure would be through the roof. Oh, it's on the other side. Is it? Shh. The cruise bubble is a little bit harder to control on this version of the game. I didn't press it the first time, did I? I don't like Beyonce. I mean, she may be a pretty talented singer, but I just don't like her music. There it is. You said the first time it was a, a rage game, often. The most overplayed song of all time, in my opinion. Probably Don't Stop Believing by Journey. I mean, it's still a good song, but it's been played way too much. Well, at least I may have heard it way too much. Wait, what? Oh, it's your birthday? Well, happy birthday, Kira. Hey, Ernesto. You're all right, Offman. Well, I 
goals it'll make Patrick happy. Let's see. I need two more golden spatulas before I can get to Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Let's see. Which other ones did I, get, did I not get? I got all of them at Goolagoon. Hello. Luan Loud? Welcome to my channel. Okay, what what's with the Loud House account? Uh, usernames? Yeah, I am a serious guy. Now, I know at the Mermelair, I didn't get the, the rolling ballroom one. Alright. The the time beating at, at Sand Mountain, not doing that right now. Oh, I forgot to talk to Mr. Krabs to get that golden spatula after clearing out the robots. Let's get back to Bikini Bottom. Yep. Wait a minute. I'm actually using Sandy right now. It wouldn't let me do that in the original version. Yeah, it is kind of hard to make me laugh. Probably because of my mental disabilities, maybe? Oh, well, I'm back to being SpongeBob for some reason. Thanks, Lincoln Loud. Phew! You had there me we go. There for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. <laughs> Here, take this as your reward. I love Madagascar too. I have the only Madagascar movie I haven't watched is Madagascar Three: Europe's Most Wanted. I love the first two movies, so. Say hello to my little bubble friend. It shines. There's a sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Yeah, but sometimes you can use jokes in the same sense of humor that would make me laugh, but I wouldn't find them funny. Not going there just yet. Ah, here's the theater. Wait. May I help you? Yeah, I need 40,000 shiny objects. I was about to say. You know... Now that you say that, Jacob... The reason why people hate Barnyard is a very hypocritical reason. They hate that the male cows have udders in that movie. Yet, Cow and Chicken is a very beloved cartoon. But, the cow in Cow and Chicken is male. He has an udder. And they also hate on how dark the movie is. Yet they love The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is way darker than that movie ever was. Yeah, I remember that. That is funny. Wait, why am I jumping on that for? And why do I keep shooting a cruise bubble? Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Pow! Now, I may not be familiar with that weapon, Ernesto, because I've only the only Ratchet and Clank game I played is Up Your Arsenal. Which which particular game is that weapon from? Is it from all the games or just a particular a particular one?
You already said hi, Lola Loud. No, that's of course not true. I don't know where you heard that from, Mothman. That's one of the biggest loads of crap I've ever heard. It definitely can make people quote the show to death, which I find annoying. But... Yo, that's the reason why people hate on English dubs in anime, Jacob. Pfft, everyone got sick of that song. JB. I'm good, Ninja. Let's go in the Chumbuck for just a second, because there's one more golden spatula in Bikini Bottom, and it's in there. They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Yeah, we all know that, SpongeBob. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Like the <laughs> owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom <laughs> news flash! Yep, that's that's a news fish, Johnny Fish. Okay, I don't know how I'm standing on that vent right now. Yep, you gotta do a wall jump right here to get that golden spatula. I finally have 60 golden spatulas. Now we can go to probably my third favorite place to go in the game, the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Clark. I, as far as on Highway to Hell goes by ACDC, I've only heard it from one place, and that was from the movie Mega Mind. So I don't really find it overplayed. SpongeBob, Division Control, the launch is a go. Keep it's not one of my favorite cat, songs by cat, there. Cat. But I get where you're coming from. <laughs> Alright. Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome hey, Larry Michael. waits. How you doing, cuz? Hey, Elsa Gamer. I really don't like Marilyn Mats at all. Honestly, there's a flying Dutchman. Uh, mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes. Who dares disturb the flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. <laughs> I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a <laughs> shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. Yes, What's it is hot here, Nicola. It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is hey, like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, <laughs> a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going!
I think Marilyn Matt's a moron. Have you done everything I told you yet? Not nope. exactly. Well, get aloft there and get those robots! And here comes another frustrating robot to fight. I don't like this robot. Road ahead. And that's why. It makes you slip all over the place. <laughs> that was close. Really, Clark? That's interesting. I mean, I don't like Marilyn Manson at all, but... If I saw him in person, I wouldn't really approach him at all. I would just leave him be. What is Killer Bean? That sounds weird. is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Now, I've never had an apple get stuck in my teeth. Yeah, the music here is great. I ha the worst route for getting stuck in your teeth is actually popcorn. Popcorn and cheese puffs are the two worst things to get stuck in. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Just Are you Canadian, time. Clark? Crap. It shines. I'm slipping all over the place. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by all, by all the the Loud House usernames. Did you guys come here for my rant on the Loud House fanbase video? Now, I've never had poutine because it doesn't sound good to me. I mean, no offense to the Canadians watching, but... Cheese and gravy on fries just doesn't sound good. Then again, I just don't like gravy. Now, Canadian maple syrup, that's something I actually want to try. That doesn't happen to me very often, Elf's Gamer, but... 
When it does, it's the worst thing. Like most of the time, I've 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 woken up with with very bad pain in my hand, actually. Yeah, I've heard of Calgary. That's where Bret Hart's from. Coming at ya. Let me cruise bubble that thing up there. Cause there's something I forgot to do. Well, pfft, they're brothers, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I'll have to worry about that later, because I can't get up there. Read the title of the stream, Lori Loud, and you'll see. I remember that. I made a rant about that. Like he always said, it's a blue blazer. Eat your vitamins, say your prayers, and drink your milk. Squidward, swab the poop deck. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That golden <laughs> spatula. <laughs> Whatever. There's one up there. Platinum whisk. Whatever it is, the answer is no. Fine. Anyways, uh, Lee, I can't try five uh, in and out because. I live on the east of America. So, and Five Guys, I've been to Five Guys, but that was when I was a very picky eater, and I wasn't really used to burgers at the time. So, I haven't had either one. I think Plains is worse, honestly. Plains is a stupid movie. Say hello to my little bubble friend. I keep on shooting a frickin' cruise ball for some reason. Yeah. Wait, no, no, not yet, not yet. I don't need Sandy yet. Honestly, I don't really like any of the burger joints I've tried. I mean, I just didn't really enjoy burgers until, until I made that that one bur that one burger video recipe that I made a long time ago. Five Guys is a burger joint, Ernesto. I need Sandy now. No, I don't like McDonald's. At all. I mean, I used to when I was a little kid, but... Oh, and around Christmas time when they have the when they have those donut sticks, I actually really love those. But other than that, I just don't really like McDonald's. Now, the worst thing is just is just the plot of it in general, the synopsis. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? What is Whataburger? Whack! Messing with Texas! Yeah! Someone better make good use of all these. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Yeah, it is a weird name. And I need SpongeBob back. Ah! 
my favorite fast food, I, I know some of you guys know this by now, but my favorite fast food ever is Popeyes. I absolutely adore Popeyes. Oh, I like Dunkin' Donuts. They have the best donuts in my opinion. And this is a controversial opinion, but I hate, I absolutely hate Krispy Kreme. They glaze every single one of their donuts, and I just don't like glazed donuts. Oh, the wall jump is a lot faster in this game. <laughs> Good joke, Larry. And Burger King's alright. I like their onion rings. I kinda like jelly-filled donuts. They're not my favorite, but I like them. My favorite donuts are, are cinnamon sugar donuts. And chocolate... Chocolate covered donuts as well. <laughs> well, bungee jump. For a golden spatula. I like Texas Roadhouse. Although I will say... They need to sear and salt their steaks more. Crap. Texas Roadhouse's rolls are amazing, though. And that cinnamon butter... Cha -ching! It's delicious. Yeah, these wall jumps are just so absurd. Uh... No, I haven't tried Japanese rice balls before, but I do want to. Oh, I hate this wall jump with a passion. I have always despised this wall jump. I've heard of the Salty Dog Cafe. Was that a man versus food? The wall jump is even harder in this one. <sighs> Finally! Shut up. And I... don't agree with you, Ernesto. I would love to travel to Japan, too. Yeah, that already happened, Lee. I don't even like pizza, Jacob.
Our new Japan is fun to watch. Yeah, I like KFC. Finally! <sighs> Are you kidding me? This is... This is rigged. Yeah, I love french fries. Eh, like I've said a million times before, I've lost every single bit of my passion for wrestling. Like, I have no desire to watch any wrestling anymore. I love opening presents. Why did I hit that? I kind of lost my train of thought for a bit, but finally I'm up here. Eh, uh, probably, Jamie. Alright, let's go to Dutchman's ship. Hello, Clyde McBride. Welcome to my channel. Pfft, I didn't take the lid off. Yes, Jamie, actually there is. The Cleveland Show. There's actually a lot. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! But I'm not gonna listen right there. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, yeah. it's a good one, though, eh? Yeah. Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Yeah, I know, Mr. Krabs. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Cannon do. Just met the Spongeinator. All right. I feel like a new sponge. Yep, I sure do, and so. Yep. Wrestling fans are just a bunch of morons. That's all they are. Wait. I don't even know who the Shockmaster wa was. Who's the Shockmaster? But, but there has been a bunch of instances where, in the middle of a match, a fan decided to came out, come out to the ring and start attacking one of the wrestlers. Like, I remember this one time, Stone Cold Steve Austin and, the Under and Triple H were having a match, and one of the fans came out and started attacking Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't exactly remember, Jamie. That's for messing with Texas. I don't know if they were cowards, because they were attacking someone who are big, who is bigger than them. So, I don't know really if they're cowards or not. They're definitely a bunch of douchebags. But, not exactly cowards. If they were attacking women's wrestlers and they were male, yeah, they're probably cowards. Do that. I was looking at the comments too much. Ah, uh, man. Thanks a lot, freaking slick. Yeah, that is one of my favorites as well. I miss CM Punk. Not only was he really good in the ring, but he was also one, probably one of the best talkers I've seen. Definitely probably in my top five. There's another one. Yeah! Whew, that was close. Pipe Bomb promo will always be one of the best promos in wrestling history. At least in my mind. Yeah, he sure can. Let's get Spongebob back out. Because he first needs to get a golden spatula by jumping on this trampoline and over to that a lot of that loft. The crow's nest. Yeah, of course I like Roddy Piper. He's one of the best. Ever. Alright, another golden spatula. Hello, Ronnie Ann. Welcome to my channel. For a second, well, sit back for a second. Back's hurting. We did it. We All right, got we got Dutch and ship back. Let's get 
it in. But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It wow, Dodgeman. But what about our deal? Well, keep your word. Ah, never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn. Couldn't agree more, Larry Michael. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy hand-turned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. I will. You're on. Yeah, this is a pretty fun boss battle. But it's also time consuming as well. Yeah, I know. Shh. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I wasn't close. Loud House ain't okay. a bad show, Larry. Better. I mean, if you don't like it, that's your opinion. Wait a minute, re let me read some of these comments. They've been passing by too quickly. Never mind. Of course I still hate Caillou. There are, there are still some good new Nickelodeon shows. with his little ghost towel, and I'll be done with him. And yes, he's shooting that out of his nose. For some of you who aren't Spongebob fans and know something about the Flying Dutchman, he shoots fire and laser out of his nose. Watch toddler shows, Jacob. Yeah. Shh, crap. There we go. Dirty ghost. Dirty? I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned. <laughs> Everyone's not fighting. I think I have an idea. Here you go. Go back to the that in a minute, Jamie. It's even got all the little mold that flies. How thoughtful. All right, you little rapscallions. Here's the golden spatula. Thank you. Give up the golden spatula for a bubble shaped like your ship. Wow. Feeling refreshed. My favorite C Cena segment... I gotta say, the segment where he was he was interrupting that little celebration of Dolph Ziggler and AJ Lee and Big E, and he was showing all those those doctor photos, and he and he dumped crap on them. You've asked me that question before, Clark, and I answered with The Simpsons. That was during an Uncharted, uh, I think it was an Uncharted three stream. Nah, I think it was actually an Uncharted 4 stream, maybe. Alright, back to the Graveyard Lake. There's a few more things to do here, so...
Hang on, I've I've had a little tickle. Water a day does to you. <sighs> I remember that episode of the Gamer. That's one of the worst episodes of the show, in my opinion. <sighs> Already, as soon as I unpause it. SpongeBob out now. I feel like that was an episode that was made when the writers didn't even have any ideas. I remember that episode, Jacob. It was alright. Not great, but pretty good. travel back to Bikini Bottom with other characters. In the original, you can only do it with Spongebob. Little Yellow Book is also a terrible episode. <laughs> Will you still come back as Spongebob? That's a classic episode, Larry. For golden spatula, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you call them your robots? Plankton? No, I. And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said "Property of Plankton." Explain that. Well, maybe, but I. And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And yep. after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone! Fine, tell everyone! Be a big tattletale! I'm still smarter than all of you! <laughs> plankton, plankton, plankton. I love opening presents. Alright. 
Oh, I love that episode. That's actually one of my favorite episodes of SpongeBob. At least one of my favorite episodes from... from season five. It shines! Clear Nicola. Alright. SpongeBob's dream. Feeling sleepy. I hate that episode too. I was stupid. Yep, SpongeBob falls asleep standing up like a giraffe. Hey Connor? Then see you come in. With sleep comes Wait, to did you just now come in? What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant Oh, SpongeBob's dream looks so much more beautiful now! Dream bubbles? I'm surrounded by dream bubbles! I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming! Well then, first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache! Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? <laughs> well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Ow, ow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Ow. I'm ready! Ow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. I didn't watch Truth or Square, so I don't know. By the way, SpongeBob's Dream is my second favorite place in the game, right behind, uh... Right, right behind the Mermelair. And it just looks even more beautiful in, in, in this remake right now. I love all the clouds and all that. It's, it's just so good. Yeah, I heard it was. Say hello to my little bubble friend. It's already somewhere over here, Connor. Yeah, that is Fitz's dream right there. 998, 999, 1000, ready or not, here I come! Oh, you can jump a lot further. Ah, oh, crap, I was close! Yeah, I wish the mustache would stay on as well. All right, later, Elf Scammer. Kind of. Whew, that was close. Slippery roll ahead. Finally. I didn't like that episode personally, Larry Michael. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in mission. the morning. It smells like victory. Don't fall off, don't fall off. I can't reach it. Oh well, I don't care. I did not mean to do that. I'm ready, I'm ready, 
I'm ready. No, he's in his dream. He's dreaming. Oh, that's a good episode. I like that episode a lot. Patrick Smart Pants. Coming at ya! I still think Bang Geeks is the best episode of the entire series, though. Let's go on a little slide. Oh, To Love a Patty is just a weird, strange episode. That's an episode I just wish I could forget exists. Too pretty. Can't take it! Yeah, Kurt Angle is amazing. I love opening presents. <sighs> Are You Happy Now was also an episode that... Actually, it's a mix between good and bad. Because on the good side, we actually have Spongebob trying to help Squidward out. But on the bad side, it's just so morbid and morbid. It has bad suicide jokes that are just not well done. And the ending is just psychotic. <sighs> yeah, I heard about that. Vince fired a bunch of wrestlers simply because they were quarantining. Yep. But he refuses to do so. Vince McMahon is, is, is the true definition of a freaking moron. Wow, your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. <laughs> I don't personally agree with you, Clark, but you're entitled to your opinion. Well... Never mind. Good riddance. That's also a really bad episode. It's creepy. Uh, he he doesn't like NXT. He doesn't like anything that has to do with indie stars. Or at least, I get the impression that he doesn't. And I don't have enough shiny objects for that part. Hello, Plankton. That's what I need, a creature with a backbone! Cat. Someone better make good use of all these. I'll have to come back to that clam later. This is what this is the best slide in the entire game. The absolute greatest slide. Yeah, it's a 
him making money is more important. Spongebob's underwear. <laughs> those cows tore in those pies. Yeah, it is stream. But the place in SpongeBob Stream that we are in right now is Sandy Stream. This is why we're using Sandy on this slide. And why I'm crashing into Thunder Tiki's as well. And try to avoid these shocky things. And we're finally at that golden spatula with the, that's on top of the giant acorn. If anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you! It sure was, Larry. Hey, if you're not busy later, come work out at the gym in my dream bubble. Obviously, the pettiest thing I've ever heard was Vince McMahon's reasoning for firing a bunch of wrestlers recently. And it's also the cruelest thing he's ever done, if you ask me. You already said that, Jacob. Anyways, I'm gonna have to end the stream here for now, so post your comments down below, let me know your on this. If you like this video, thumb it up, hey, sweetie, thumb it down. And be sure to subscribe to become a member of the channel to be faction, and journey 10,000 subscribers. See you later.